A man who's making a habit of escaping from Darwin's new alcohol rehabilitation centre says he doesn't have a drinking problem. Since his most recent escape, he's returned to living in the long grass around Darwin, where the ABC's Melanie Arnost caught up with him. 35-year-old James Narchik is back at his regular spot in suburban Darwin, drinking with his friends in the long grass. This is at least the fourth time the Tiwi Islander has escaped from the alcohol rehabilitation facility, where he'd been held under the Northern Territory government's new mandatory policy. It's good, it's good in there, it's good in there, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a good place, yeah, for food. Mr Najik was being assessed there because he'd been taken into protective custody three times in less than a month for being drunk. This is let, let me go because I'm a free man, uh, yeah. This, I just want to go back to business. He says he was well looked after at the rehabilitation centre. They just tell me, you know, not, not, to, not to drink too much. Just, just drink, you know, like steadily, you know. Just any, maybe six, six, enough. But James Najik says he doesn't need the treatment. I'm not really drunk, yeah. Do you think you have a problem with alcohol? No, I got no problem, I think, yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, 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 happy blog. He says he left the rehab facility to visit his sick daughter in hospital. I, I want to take her back to Bethes, Bethes, yeah. That's all I got, I got only one daughter, that's all. You talk to any provider of alcohol rehabilitation treatment throughout Australia, throughout the world, and people take off. Uh, they get jack of it, they decide they don't want to be there, and they leave. The Northern Territory Government says the rehab centre is not a prison, but security will be ramped up. We've uh, employed a security company to provide extra security in the Darwin facility until we can uh, uh, examine exactly how we can strengthen the, uh, the physical security that is in place. The government maintains the program is a success and that's inspired one Darwin artist to put her own take on the policy. Melanie Arnost, ABC News, Darwin.